Hey guys, Sarah here from Easy Love with my friend Liam. Here to both devastate you and delight you with information old and new in the first installation of my new series on health and wellness in the scope of sustaining our bodies and the planet. Today we're going to talk about sugar, but not in a gossipy, she's the worst, we're not friends with her kind of way. We'll talk about her good attributes and her bad attributes and we can maybe still have her in our lives. First, yeah. the bad. Sugar is the number one cause of diseases, all diseases, not just diabetes, cancer, osteoporosis, arthritis, heart disease, obesity, oral health, cystic fibrosis, asthma, and bacterial and yeast infections. Whoa, someone just said yeast infections? Oh, hey, Amber. Do do? Hey. Yeah, do you know about yeast infections? Oh, yeah, that's when your vagina gets so swollen it feels like you're growing a penis. Like when you want to spread your legs open in front of a fan and put on the high setting. Like when your vagina goes on a hike and it gets poison oak. Like when you try to have sex, but it feels like your partner's stabbing you. Right, like, like they did it on purpose. Yeah, like intentionally plotted to murder you and you're not following through with it. Yeah. You know about those? Those are uh, super gross. Yeah, do you know what causes them? Mm. No, what? That was rude. You know what else is rude? Sugar. Wow. Sugar. Mm -hmm. She's a backstabbing bitch. And everyone's wow. like, oh, sugar's so sweet. We love sugar. She's just, a bitch. Just straight up get a disease from her. So did you know that sugar, in the form of fructose, actually causes a breeding ground for pathogens? Mm. And this causes your body to become acidic. So sugar actually lowers your immune system. And then it's hard for your body to fight off these pathogens, some of which we come in contact with every single day. Sure. These pathogens, they live off sugar. They, uh, and it's especially bacteria, uh, candida, or yeast. In fact, candida cells, which reside in our bodies naturally like bacteria do, are so closely related to humans that they share 6,000 of our 25,000 human genes. Whoa. What? Yes. That's which is lot. why they adapt so easily to the human body that they will actually take over your nervous system, creating a literal addiction to sugar. We can't control it. We're like drug addicts. Wait, so that's why it's so hard to quit sugar? Yes. Because it's not about having weak willpower or being lazy. Oh, thank God. It's that your system is being hijacked by the candida that thrives off sugar and products uh, turn into sugar once you eat. Simple carbohydrates, alcohol, fruit juice. Oh, yes, fruit juice. The, the fruit juice is really bad for you. Because I thought it was good for you. Yeah. Same. When we eat fruit, okay, which is great, it's packed with minerals and vitamins necessary for our body to function. We consume the sugar in them along with the fiber. So our body is actually metabolizing it slowly. And the fruit sugar doesn't spike our uh, sugar levels. When we spike our sugar levels, it actually overloads our liver and turns the sugar into fat. Oh, sorry. There you go. Turns it into fat. I know this one. No bueno. It's not good. And fat in excess corrodes our heart and our arteries. If you think about it, okay. The amount of sugar in one glass of apple juice is completely crazy because it comes from like a dozen apples. I can't eat a dozen apples. I probably can. You can eat a dozen apples. No, you can't. Can, can you eat a dozen apples? Not in one sitting. I think I have in my life. Mm -hmm. I've anyway. eaten exactly 12 apples. <laughs> you, you couldn't eat a dozen apples. You'd be so full. The fiber would fill you up. Extracting the sugar from the apple is just as unnatural and unhealthy as extracting the juice from cane sugar and drying it. Which is literally sugar! It's literally sugar! That's what sugar is. If you want to drink your fruit, maybe make a smoothie, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. with a few pieces of fruit and maybe some greens from the garden. I like it. So you're metabolizing all that fiber along with the sugar. Great idea. I like it. Did you know that men can have yeast infections too? I'm gonna go. No, gotta stay for this. Okay. <laughs> Stop itching. Candidiasis is the most prevalent chronic disease in the nation and most people don't even know that they have it. Candidiasis causes thrush, which is an infection of the breasts, and also babies get it in their mouth. Mm. And it causes vaginal yeast infection. Great. Uh, it can lead to eczema, psoriasis, bad breath. <coughs> That's horrible. Arthritis, <laughs> cancer, <laughs> asthma, celiac disease, fibromyalgia, uh, what else? Interstitial cystitis. Tiger rashes. Oh. In babies. Not in humans. 
like the adults. Like babies, babies are, are human. they're smaller they're humans. Tiny humans, though. they're not baby humans. But what about older humans. humans that wear diapers? Also, them? It could happen. It could right. happen. Good to know. They all have a relationship to candidiasis that's caused by sugar. Oh, wow, sugar sucks. It also causes irritable bowel syndrome. Ooh. So bad for days. Yes. Yeah. Depending on the day. There's a really delicate relationship between the yeast and the bacterial levels in your intestinal flora. And if they go out of whack, you've got bubble gut. Oh, bubble gut. So it's like real hard and solid and stuff. Well, you They're know about like that. Big. Like my abs, but different. Amber's but boyfriend not. just went on a candida cleanse. Yes, it got rid of uh, acid reflux, <sighs> heartburn, indigestion, his bubble gut just went down to non bubble, Bo just a gut. Bo -bo 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 he had a baby in his gut. gut. That's Bo -bo 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 how big it was. Got it. it was horrible. Additionally, mm -hmm. too much sugar will destroy your liver just like alcohol does uh, because it's flooding, uh, flooding it with fructose, and your liver turns it into fat and then stores it and then places it in your body, including your heart and arteries, creating corrosion of them, and possibly leading to heart disease and failure. I mean failure of your body, not like the kind of failure that you experience every day. Oh. Not failure in like your business. Like in acting. Or what my mother talks about. Why is sugar such a bitch? Oh, I was gonna ask that question. She can't help herself. She's just unnatural now. I mean, she's just become this, like, toxic thing. This is what happens when you make things unnatural. She's not all bad. There's, like, in her some natural things. state. Yeah, still inside of her, she has goodness. She's still good. Okay. She's so, like a Disney witch. Right. Yeah. Right, not but, the ones that, like, get killed at the end, but are redeemed. The ones that are redeemed. Great. Okay. Yeah, and then they make Broadway shows out of them. Mm. Right. Delightful. So, basically, sugar is in everything, right? Mm hmm Okay. What is sugar not in? Ooh. Uh... Animal meats. Oh, that's true. Them. It's not an animal protein, but your body will start craving sugar if you have a diet that's high in animal protein oh. because it needs glucose. But most people, instead of eating fruits and vegetables and grains, which all have naturally, occur naturally occurring sugars in them, they'll reach for things like sweets and candies and snacks and sugary snacks and slurpees. The stuff that I love to eat. Stuff that everybody loves to eat, but it's really bad for you. Fuck! <laughs> No. Not to worry though, no. right? So eating less meat and more fruits, veggies, and whole grains will help curb our sugar cravings. Yes. Also, right. eating less sugar. Yes. Uh, babe. This will re usually require a cleanse of some sort though. Mm, yes. Those are no joke. For like a month. Ooh. Yeah. Like you'll find parts of your person that you didn't know about. Yeah. Because it's literally like releasing from drugs. I wanted to connect with my inner child for a while. Yeah. You will. Well, you can balance yourself out eventually if you go for, what, 30 days? Yeah, 30 mm. days. 30? That's what it takes. Yeah. And it's usually like eating leafy greens, fresh fruits, cooked whole grains like quinoa, brown rice, barley, raw sprouted grains if you're super hardcore. <laughs> um, make sure that they're organic so that you're not eating pesticides and genetically modified food, which can also cause disease. Also, stay away from alcohol, which is sugar, which is in your body. Oh, no, it's the, it's the bad one. But what about diet drinks? Yeah, diet drinks. Maybe the worst for candida growth. The worst. Seriously, the worst. Something yeah. about artificial sweetener gets yeast breeding like the Duggar family. Peace. I'm going to start posting recipes, but honestly, that's so not an excuse. There's so many recipes. Yeah, I don't online. have any recipes. Do you have do you, Google? Do you have a keyboard? Do you have the internet? This is how I type it. I shame people. I just shame people on this show. Yeah, go on Pinterest. There's thousands. <laughs> There's a lot. I just um, signed up for Pinterest. It's not as bad as you think. Yeah. Dudes. I do have more good news. I love good news. If you find that as you detox or you adjust your diet, you are climbing the walls of your home or scouring the cabinets for sweets. Sugar. Shaking. I've literally Shaking. crawled inside of a cabinet before. Crying. Yeah. Crying. Yeah. Um, calling Weeping. friends, saying your last goodbyes. Yeah. There are some cheats. <gasps> Ooh. First cheats. one, 
if you are like most of America and you're totally addicted to soda, which is possibly the worst thing that you can do to your body. It really is the worst thing you can do for your body. I wish that everyone would really know that part. It's really, really awful. It's so much worse than you think because you're like, oh, I don't feel like amazing like I could cl climb Mount Everest, but it's not, it's not all bad, but it is. Like, especially if you do it over a long period of time, it's the worst thing you, you can do. You will literally body. never climb Mount Everest. Buy some sparkling water. I love mm. sparkling water. Sparkling water. Ooh. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, <gasps> sparkle. And then you can add some lemon or lime or both Ooh. if you want to. Yeah. And then you can add some Great natural version. sweetener, but just a tad, a little bit. And scotch. you want a scotch. Yes. A yes. This is uh, organic blue agave sweetener. You can use brown rice syrup. You can use maple syrup. All of these are less offensive to your system than actual sugar. Mm -hmm. But just use a little bit. And then every single day, you can make it less and less and less until there's just the same amount that's in this bottle. And then you'll train yourself to eventually just enjoy the taste of sparkling water sparkling. or even still water. What about coconut water? Coconut water. Oh. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it just got a little fructose in it, but also has like really... It's mostly sucrose. Yeah, and glucose. And glucose, yes. Great. And also it has, it's packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that your body needs mm -hmm. in order to be healthy. Yes. But, but you got to make sure that you get the raw cold press stuff, not the stuff that's cooked and then refrigerated. It maintains way more of its natural properties and it tastes way better. Way better. Right. Lots better. So okay. Significantly better. Yeah. The most better. Okay. So you can also lower your salt and meat intake. It'll just naturally lower your sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can do, I love to have oatmeal in the morning mm -hmm. instead of like your sugary cereals, Great. cocoa, pebbles. Fruity pebbles. Fruity pebbles. Mm. All your pebbles. Don't eat any more of the pebbles. Or rocks. <laughs> or rocks. Don't eat those either. Don't eat rocks either, but the sugary cereals in the morning are really, really bad for you. So mm -hmm. I love oatmeal, and you can flavor it with so many things. Walnuts and raisins, or honey and maple syrup, or brown rice syrup, or agave, just or stevia. Rocks. Just vegetables. <laughs> also, you should probably train yourself to drink an insane amount of water. I mean, Water good, insanity. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Get good water, or a good water filter. You may have to train like Rocky to do this. <laughs> because if you're like me, I I hate drinking still water or like water from the tap. But if you're not so keen on that like I am, you can start with uh, the sparkling water like we talked about earlier. Uh, and then kind of train yourself into drinking um, still water. Yes. And it will reduce your sugar cravings and um, reducing your sugar keeps you hydrated. Also, because sugar dehydrates you. Fun fact is that your body is uh, sometimes gets confused about whether it's thirsty or hungry. So sometimes when you are thirsty, you're, you're actually craving food. But if you drink some water, good chance that the hunger pains will subside and your body's just craving water. We're not saying to starve yourself. Yes, we are. No. <laughs> no kind of if are. you live in LA, yes. If you live anywhere I else, mean, you're probably do. fine. <laughs> I had a sip of water this morning and I am stuffed. <laughs> Absolutely just It does fill you up. It does. Yeah. No, but I've done that before where it's like, all right, I just ate. I know that I shouldn't be hungry, but I can't stop like wanting to snack in the fridge or the cabinets. You're and probably just thirsty. I'm just thirsty. But you can also lower your caffeine intake. To, what you, I, especially coffee. No! I know. No! I knew that you were going to say that. I know, I'm sorry, but it's no. like a total, no, no, I know, no, I know. No, no. Hear me out. It's like a total double whammy for your system when you add sugar to it, guys. It's not good. <laughs> but no, you can try something else. You can try uh, half calf. Decaf. Black tea. Green tea. White tea. Or my personal favorite, yerba mate. Oh. Okay. Yerba mate is similar to coffee because it does have some caffeine in it, but it doesn't have all of the things that come along with coffee consumption that really uh, get you feeling kind of whacked out and crazy and like get your sugar level up and down. And mm, sure. Also oh, probably okay. doesn't give you that crash midday yes. that coffee does. Yep. You can also find some naturally sweet vegan chocolate. Cacao! Cacao! It's called cacao. Oh, that was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I love this one. It's um, high in cacao! <laughs> it's high in cacao. It's, uh, actually, it's, it's such a simple pleasure. <laughs> it is. It's a simple pleasure. Sponsor us. Simple pleasure. Yes. Okay. Sponsorship awaiting. Um, <laughs> this is called Cacao Parlor. Wait, is this a condom brand? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, ribbed for your pleasure. Simple pleasure. It's got, because chocolate has the, well, anyway. You know I did the segment with it now. 
Ugh. Yeah. Stop, okay. Stop me. Seriously, <laughs> this is really great. Like, if you don't want to have uh, coffee, but you're trying to wean yourself off of caffeine, this does have some caffeine in it. Also, just like the yerba mate. But the nature of the cacao. Cacao. <laughs> you can say it now. Is that. Uh, when you eat it, it's sort of a time release thing. So it gives you the sustained energy throughout the day. It's also an antioxidant, so it's really good for you. Um, you can get a little stuff. crazy if you have a lot of it. So just oh. kind of like so it works. It, it works, but just kind of like all we need snack on it through the day. Yeah. And also it has some sugar in it. So again, these are all cheats so that you can wean yourself off of the sugar. Mm -hmm. I kind of like all these cheats. Yeah, they're good cheats. I think I like the cheats better than the original. I think I'll be cheating. What else can we do though? What about uh, organic dried fruit? Organic dried fruit. Yeah. Like the mango here? Oh my God, this oh, yeah. is my favorite. I mean, I'm not saying it's like super healthy. It's not. But it has a lot of fiber and concentrated sugar in it, which will help you curb craving. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of brands that don't have added sugar in it. It's yeah. just literally dried fruit. The fruit. fruit. It's and that's dried. the kind that you want to get is just the dried fruit. Mm. It's like a raisin, but for mangoes. This is better than a cupcake. Organic granola bars. Mm -hmm. um, 18 rabbits. This is a particular brand of granola bar that I like. Most granola bars are not good for you. They're really bad for you. They're loaded with sugar. Sugar! Lots of artificial sweeteners. They've got all kinds of preservatives in them. They've got sometimes like dyes and stuff that you can't pronounce. It's horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. Look, you don't want to eat like the chocolate and this like throughout the day. I'm saying like when shit hits the fan and you really need Can't something. Okay, fine. I'm saying, like, when push comes to shove and you're really just dying, dying, you need something. You need a cheat. Like Death's Door. Like Death's Door. Like the Grim Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper. Grab for a granola bar. <laughs> I love it. That's our <laughs> new slogan. Um, this has uh, granola, and this is all organic, uh, whole grain oats, unsweetened coconut. It has things like maple syrup in it, safflower, sunflower oil, honey, flax seeds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. Uh, hazelnuts, tapioca syrup, tapioca syrup and the maple syrup and the oat syrup are all alternatives. It's also got cacao nibs in it. Does have so cacao you can nibs like actually it. read all those ingredients? I can read all of the ingredients. I can pronounce them and I've only had a third grade education. Are you guys <laughs> say this with me, writing? And cacao! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Fior. You're so welcome. Mm. Um... Mm. Okay, so a couple last bits of useful information regarding sugar. Vegans, huh? you are probably on the healthiest diet on the planet if you do it right. Killing but it. you have to do it right. It's a very, very healthy diet. However, you cannot afford to add any refined sugar because all of these healthy fruits and vegetables, all these healthy fruits and vegetables that you're eating are very, very good for you. But they also are sugar, the good kind of sugar, but that means that if you add any extra sugar into your diet, any refined sugar, you're asking for a world of trouble, friends, a world of trouble between candida overgrowth and all of the aforementioned diseases that come from candida overgrowth. They were aforementioned. Well, what about meat eaters? Tell me, are they on a healthy diet? Yeah. Are they on the right track? Meat eaters can afford to put more sugar into their diet, but yes. keep in mind okay. that if you are adding sugar into your diet because your body's craving it because you eat a lot of meat, what you're not getting is what your body actually needs and why it's craving sugar because it needs the fruits and the vegetables. Oh, and the, the carrots. Vegetables. Well, we don't want to do it again, but the fruits and the vegetables. <laughs> yes, the carrots, Amber. The carrots. Your body wants the carrots. No, I feel I feel like you have something like really I rare feel to it go. too. I feel like there's something yeah. like else. You got like a whole new Something like your soul in. needs to speak. Yeah, you need to say something. You speak it's, your truth. It's funny that you guys should mention that, and you're welcome, audience, in advance. Uh, if you take anything away from this video, I want to say just stay away from high fructose corn syrup because, for one thing, it's genetically modified. Uh, for another thing, it's highly addictive, and it's also the worst kind of sugar that you can put in your body. It is usually accompanied by artificial dyes, preservatives, hydrogenated oils, and other toxic additives and fillers. No, no high, high fructose, fructose corn, corn syrup. syrup! This is Amber Marie Bollinger. And this is Liam Johnson. Liam Johnson. And I am Sarah Bradford. Easy Love. From Easy Love. 
and thank you so much for watching today we all hope that you got some really great useful information i hope you were eating ice cream while you were watching this and just felt really gross about you yourself. literally got nothing from this liam nothing i hope they're all eating mangoes in a cloud filled with sprite. mangoes <laughs> what sprite <laughs> like sprites sprites sprightly sprightly <laughs>